Okay, let's do this. Hi guys. I want to um, let you into a little insight around my creative process today. Specifically my logo sketching process. And this is the formative area of my visual identity design process. I think it's the logo is the most important piece of a visual identity and for me I love to get into it with just sketching, you know, writing down ideas by hand and visually mocking them up. I love to work in Adobe Draw and it gives me the ability to record the steps that I take as well so that we can look back at them now in really cool little time lapses. The project that I'm going to break down for you today is the Natural Mystic project. So here you can see the finished logo. So Natural Mystic is a high quality premium cannabis brand uh, based in California. So I'm just going to jump straight into some videos of the very early sketches and talk you through them. One of the themes was repeated lines for this project. So as you can see here, kind of playing with some sacred geometry, just looking at how I could get repeated shapes, working around the sacred geometry vibe to kind of work together. This one was okay, but it was a very quick sketch. So yeah, here you can see in this one, I'm bringing in kind of like some landscapes. You can see how I've used cannabis leaves to trace over and just kind of like looked at ways that I could get this cannabis leaf shape to sit within like a symmetrical landscape within a kind of circular logo. Building on this concept a little further here, you can see how, you know, the landscape has kind of been drawn out into more like different hills, each with their own distinct lines. Working with the lovely sun, harnessing, enriching sun motif in the center there. So this one's a little bit different, kind of looking at taking that hill angle a bit more into some vector shapes, slightly cleaner lines. And then I was kind of mocking up using repeated lines on the logo. And the repeated lines was actually one of the aesthetic concepts I was working with in this project, which I can break down more another time. So then with this one, building on the repeated lines even more, you can see how kind of like extended back towards the sacred geometry a little and just kind of like worked in some, some more kind of like blurred vector shapes around these, this kind of motif. This one is kind of like, there was another style which was stained glass which came through kind of so I'm using like different vector layers with different opacities overlaid using fixed shapes that I print and then delete different parts of the vectors away. And so this is quite an interesting one, like you, you see you've got the hills, you've got this kind of mystical eye coming in there. Here's another one using like the kind of the hills, geometric shapes overlaid and basing it on the eye quite interesting, quite fun to look at. So in here you can see this is sort of like getting towards some of the more favourite ones that emerge from this process. So you can see how I've used the cannabis, cannabis leaf shape and embedded hillsides around it. So is it kind of, it's hard to say, is it, is it um, pyramids, is it hills, but just was looking to try and get that sort of like natural embedding of the shape in a subtle way. And there you can see I've made the note stained glass. So that's kind of like looking at maybe these could be different facets of, of opacity overlaid over each other. And so here we go, this one's cool because this is actually the eugenesis of what went on to be the final logo. You can see it here, and as I run through the drawing, you can see how in the same way as the last time I've used the cannabis leaf, sort of like draw into the landscape but instead rather than filling in the shapes it's been mainly line based the repeated line thing with lovely big sun motif there it's good when you do something like this because you kind of you get it down and it's super rough 
but even though you've done it so quickly you just know there's something there so here you can see with these ones are kind of like elaborated on the cannabis leaf kind of in a stylized way and um, bringing this in with some geometric shapes which was kind of like um, you'll see how it's gone, gone to be used in the final logo in a second but this was kind of a bit of an overstep I kind of took this took this exploration to a little bit too far here so it's always interesting to see you know the the, the um, routes that you started to go down that you then pulled back from and so then here we come to the final one of the final sketches that I did before I took in this work all over into my illustrator and Photoshop work to finalize the brand identity and so you can see here how this is one of the, the logo shapes that I had working which, which you'll, you'll see like actually represented in the final brand guidelines and you can see how I've kind of like I find it very quick and easy to work over this and mock up shapes around it to get compositions together and it almost frees me up rather than working in my design programs because it's kind of just like pen and paper and you can just tact in a very tact you can see in a very tactile way how I'm just kind of like erasing and refining lines so I just run this one through and and that was pretty much you'll see like when we go back to it now you see how close this final one here is to the actual final logo that we created there you go it's got the eye it's got the staggered hills and it's got the cannabis um, motif in the middle so as I scroll down here you can see how these are used in different ways for the brand and there are a number of different logo icons which have been reflected in all of the different stages of the sketching that you've seen there so you know it's it's really useful not only to uh, work up ideas in the first place but to give you more depth and more parts of these logos that you can pull out to use in different ways because nowadays more than ever people need logos that work in a variety of different situations within a variety of different complexities so you know here you see we've got the primary logo um, and then secondary logo items like Mystic Mountain, Mystic Burst you know this Mystic Burst is part of the Mystic Mountain which is then part of the primary logo so um, this gives the brand flexibility to you know implement their iconic styling of these uh, vector logo objects in, in a different loads of different ways you know and the mystic frame can come in and as you can see like this framing element is, is used around here it, as part of layouts but anyway um, I think that gives you a good idea now of, of how uh, it's really cool to see some of my sketching come together and then how it's ended up uh, being the final product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give me some feedback if you did like it. Um, I'd love to know what you think and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Cheers, bye.